I ran out of space the first time, but I'm gonna go through it again even though I already started to make the coffee. So this is your toddy system right here. Now you're gonna take your filter out of the package, it's a nice little white thing, and you're gonna stick it on the bottom, nice and firm, in place on the bottom of your toddy. And you're also gonna make sure that you have your plug. See, you have a little plug under there. You stick that plug in nice and tight, okay? Then you add a little bit of water so that the filter will be a little moist. Then add one cup of water. Okay, go ahead. There you go. Now, you're gonna use your really good coffee that's coarse ground that I gave to you. You can, I, you can use a little bit of both because I gave you um, caffeinated and decaffeinated, I think. So I do all decaf lots of times, but it's coarse ground. Take two full cups of the coarse ground coffee and pour it into your toddy. Okay, now take three cups of water and you're gonna pour it on top of the ground slowly, slowly. I'll turn it like this so you can see better. Slowly, all the way around in a circular motion and you do it slowly, okay? So you take your time, you're trying to get all the grounds wet. Slowly, you don't pour it all in at once. You don't wanna um, clog up the filter. I'm pretty sure that's why you do it slowly. So you go real slow, three cups. Wonderful. Now add the second two cups of coarse ground coffee and pour that on top. All right, you did it. Okay, wait five minutes, put your timer on. Okay, once the five minutes are up, Add three more cups of coffee, of, sorry, pure water, you know, nice cold spring water. And do it again. Pour it over the top, which is what I just did. And at the end, when you've um, done it all, it might look like it's wet or some parts of it might look a little dry. Mine looked just a little dry, so you make sure that all the coffee grounds are in water and are moist. All right? Once you've got that done, you get a little plate and put it on top overnight. That's just so a bug won't get in it. Put it on top. Wait 12 hours. You can wait longer if you want. 16, 18 hours. You could even wait 20 or 24 hours. It will get much stronger if you do it that way. But you really only have to do it for 12 hours. So if you do it at night, it's ready for your breakfast. And then in the morning, you're going to put this on top of your decanter, which you have, which I don't. So I could use whatever, another kind of container if I wanted, but your container is ideal. You put it on top, pull that plug out as you're over it, release it, and let it fill up your toddy container. And it will run pretty quickly, and but let it run all the way because every drop is so delicious, okay? So let it drop all the way through, and when it stops dripping, you can put the plug in there and kind of stir up your, your concentrate and you're boiling some nice clear water, some nice pure water and you put, I do one part cold brew and one part water. So I boil my water, I put my cold brew a half a cup, I fill up the next half with boiling water and then I doctor it the way I like it with my pink salt and my raw sugar and half and half. And, uh, and then I heat it up in the microwave to make the rest of it hot. Some people like it cold, and I've uh, written something up for you about the people who like it cold. Um, but you can try how, do you, how you like to reconstitute it. Just remember, this is a concentrate, and I know you like really strong coffee. So you're probably going to really love the taste of this. But I reconstitute it you know, fully, one half um, of the coffee and one half of the water. So enjoy, you're getting 